The DJI Mavic 3 is a strange drone. Ever since launch, it has been in the headlines often for the wrong reasons, be that in relation to the long-awaited updates and unlocking features, that unusual zoom lens, or the topic of the moment, the GPS issues. It is the latter that I want to focus on today and show my own experience of this issue. Whilst this video is playing, I will show video on my most recent attempt to gain enough secure satellites to fly here in the UK. Stay tuned as well to find out something strange that is happening to my satellite locks and one fear I have about how DJI could fix the issue. Very quickly, for anyone who does not know, there's been an ongoing issue with the DJI Mavic 3, where it takes many minutes to gain satellite locks for safe flight. Some of our viewers in the US in particular have struggled their way to over eight minutes and a couple taking 10 minutes to get a full lock. The reason behind this would appear to be a change in which satellite constellations the Mavic 3 has access to. Now, the previously used GLONASS service, which appeared in such drones as the DJI Mavic Air 2S, or DJI Air 2S, has uh, been dropped in favor of the Chinese Badoo service. Now, for understandable reasons, DJI are not particularly forthcoming with information about why these use a certain chipset or GNSS. So we could spend a long time theorizing why they dropped GLONASS and whether or not it is their reliance on Beidou that is causing the issues for the Mavic 3. But instead, today I want to look at the story published by Heyu at DroneXL in which he reports that DJI have confirmed they are aware of the issue and will be fixing it. Well, let's take a quick look at the story. Hey, you at DroneXL received an official statement from DJI acknowledging the slow satellite acquisition and will address it in a firmware update coming soon. The story then continues to let us know that DJI feel the issue can be solved through a firmware update and not a hardware fix. The story came to prominence when a reader of DroneXL sent Hayu an email showing an encouraging conversation they had with DJI support, asking DroneXL to try and gain some form of confirmation through his contacts, hence their approach to DJI. There's a link to the full story so you can read more fully DJI's response to DroneXL and their viewer. So it seems that DJI both confirm that they're aware of the issue now and claim that an update is being worked on to deal with it. This is generally great news. If DJI say they are bringing an update soon, they tend to stick to that promise. And the fact that DroneXL gains confirmation as well means we should see it soon. One issue I would like to raise is to ask DJI whether or not they will be sharing with their customers and the industry what the issue was and how a firmware update is able to solve a G DNSS issue. I fear that the temptation might be to simply alter the required number of satellites needed to take off without limits and that it might be more of a dressing up solution rather than something actually changing how it is happening. I would be the first person to be delighted if the Mavic 3 issues were solved through a firmware update, but we need to know more. As loyal customers who I feel have really stuck with DJI during the recent uh, issues around the Mavic 3 launch, I would really want to see information on exactly what has happened. And if it is a firmware update, why it wasn't dealt with earlier. What about the early testers of this drone and the many lucky enough to get these things before launch? Surely there was enough feedback to bring this to their attention a lot sooner. Taking a look at my own recent attempt to gain satellite lock, and as you can see, it eventually got up to the required number in just shy of five minutes. However, one thing I find really strange about this issue is the fact that the number of sats locked goes up and down so much. Twice at earlier stages, I was told it was okay to fly only to get knocked back again into the orange warnings. As the thumbnail states, the DJI Mavic 3 is a stranger drone. And for one that was so hotly awaited, you would have to wonder what has been happening to have a lukewarm launch and a spotty existence so far. I still like the drone a lot. There are many great features and the main camera is excellent. There is a lot of potential here. And I hope that by the time we see a C-label model ready for the UK and EU markets, that it will have the rough edges completely shaved off, leaving another king of the lineup that the Mavic 2 Pro once was. What are your thoughts and experiences of the Mavic 3 in terms of satellite issues? And how do you feel about the proposed firmware update to fix the issue? Are you hopeful it will do the job? Let me know in the comments below. Also, whilst you're here, why not watch this video discussing 
releasing a potential DJI Mini 3 release in 2022. Sean out.